follow me in this video as I make over my crafting or sewing trolley or cart depending on where you are. If you watched my last video where I sorted through my African wax fabric stash, you'd notice that I'm currently going through a decluttering phase. So I had to take some time out just to organize and sort through my bits in order to make sure that they work for me, they're practical and easy on the eye. <laughs> To start with, I have these baskets that I picked up online and I wish I had more of them because they come in varying sizes and I felt like they would fit nicely with the colour of the crafting cart. I also picked these baskets up from my local Tesco's, they're plastic. So but the first thing I had to do was to clean out the trolley because it turned into somewhere that I just dump things and um, the, the purpose of having this crafting cart is so that I can drag it over to wherever I'm working on since I am using our dining room as my crafting space so it just has so much going on in there and I had to just clear it out and clean it as well. This trolley or cart, <laughs> um, I picked it up from mage.com and this was two years ago so I doubt if they would still have this exact model in stock. However, I am pretty sure you can find something like this on the internet. So you have to take some time out just to search and find what you need. Just look at that. This trolley actually does contain quite a lot of things and um, I managed to collect so much, <laughs> so much clutter in this trolley but I am really pleased that I have been able to take the time out just to clean it up and make it work for me. Also using little baskets like these to organize the different resources is um, helpful because you can just grab the basket and go rather than searching and rummaging through the trolley to find whatever it is you need. Uh, my tip would be to ensure that you sort the different tools according to what function they serve. You can also see that I beautified it using um, a little plant pot. I have used the wicker baskets just for my candles and other extra bits and pieces that I would use around the room. but. For this trolley, we are going to be sticking with these green ones because they go nicely with the color of the cart. Please don't touch me like that. Cause you know I'll read it. Don't make me do. So now it's time to sort through this ridiculous mess. <laughs> Everything was just dumped in the trolley and it just didn't work for me anymore. So it had to be done. If our friends knew undercover love and they would try to solve it, solve it, yeah. I've gone ahead to separate all the different things inside the carts into the baskets. I have all my elastics right there at the bottom and I have my bias tapes. I have just like bits and pieces, things for fixing the machine. I have um, spare bulb. I have just, you know, just the things that are required. 
and all my buttons are laid right at the bottom of the cart inside their individual boxes because I organized those ages ago and it's been very helpful. I watched a Mimi G video and she has a button organization video so if that's something that you're interested in then I think you should uh, go ahead and watch it because I found that actually useful and if I get to the point where I have too many buttons <laughs> I might actually use that method. I found it useful for the future. It stays between me and you Me and you One way, two It stays between me and you I have my writing things, my writing resources and rubbers all put away in these little cups I have a bit of a notebook situation here and these are all my notebooks from many years ago. I don't bullet journal but I take notes a lot like I have to make lists of different things so um, I've just kept these notebooks because I have some really inf like valuable information in them so I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> I have my rotary cutters I have quite a few of them and some have been gifted and the others are just I use one for paper so like for cutting out sewing patterns I use one for and then the others are just interchange I have my camera filming bits inside the baskets as well all grouped together so here's what's left. <laughs> Everything else was either rubbish or Olivia's box that I gave back to her. Here I have just things that I haven't used for years and years. These are all bag making resources. This is for a belt, I believe. And I don't need these things. Um, and I don't want to deceive myself by just keeping them. I have off cuts of elastic and these will not be enough for making anything. So I'm just going to pack them in the bag and put them away in the shed. These are bias tapes that I made, handmade ones that I had left over from old projects from many, many years ago. And I just won't be using these for a long time. So I'm just gonna pack them away in the shed. 